Today, I worked on a vehicle where the customer brought it in because the check engine light was on. After connecting a scan tool, I found three error codes. P105C, which means the intake valve is stuck in the low lift position. P105D, indicating the intake valve is stuck in the high lift position. And P0302, which points to a misfire in cylinder 2. The first thing I did was visually inspect the engine oil to make sure it was at the proper operating level. Low oil can sometimes cause issues with variable valve systems, but in this case, the oil level was fine. Next, I used the scan tool to perform a test on the variable valve lift system. This system adjusts the lift of the intake valves for better performance and fuel efficiency. During the test, I found that one of the variable valve lift valves failed. This gave me a clear direction to investigate further. To confirm the diagnosis, I removed the valve and installed an oil pressure gauge to check the oil pressure. With the engine idling, I monitored live data on the scan tool while comparing it to the oil pressure gauge readings. The readings from the oil pressure sensor were within 5 psi of the gauge reading, which confirmed that the oil system was functioning properly. This told me the problem wasn't with the oil delivery, but with the variable valve lift oil control valve itself. At this point, the solution was straightforward. I replaced the faulty variable valve lift oil control valve with a new one. After the replacement, I cleared the codes and took the vehicle for a road test. The engine ran perfectly, the check engine light stayed off, and no fault codes returned. This repair highlights the importance of a systematic approach to diagnosing issues. Instead of jumping straight to replacing parts, I used the scan tool, pressure gauge, and visual inspection to confirm the root cause. If you're dealing with similar codes, always take the time to test components thoroughly. It saves time and ensures the issue is fixed properly.